Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now and it's going to be focused on new love. If you're interested in finding out if anybody new is coming into your life, you know, then this could be the tarot card reading for you. Now keep in mind sometimes overlapping energies can occur. There could be some exes who want to come back into your life and that can't be helped. Naturally, new love can also encompass all love coming in to offer you a new offer, okay? If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and to turn on the notifications bell. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So the very first card I have is showing to me that there is indeed someone coming in to offer you love, okay? This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio individual. I do feel like they could be wearing their heart on their sleeve. They could be this energy of them wanting to, you know, get to know you better. I'm picking up that uh, this individual, right? They could be wearing their heart on their sleeve. They might have something... To say to you they might be thinking and looking at you in a romantic light this could be very exciting especially if you're looking for love during this time of the year right so the next card i'm getting is a fire energy right for some of you you might be dealing with an airy sag or leo and this person could be standing in your way this could be an ex for example okay you may have dated an airy sag or leo individual in the past and uh, you might have somebody new coming into your life or perhaps, you know, you could have an ex that um, wants to come back into your world. They could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. So there's definitely those two energies which are standing out. I feel like one of these individuals is looking for marriage and commitment, a stable sort of relationship, something that is, you know, legitimately going to be strong and potentially life-changing. I feel like this individual... You know, it's either going to be a water sign or a fire sign that's looking for a serious relationship. And, um, you know, if you're young, let's say you are in your mid-20s, etc., haven't had kids, or maybe you had a kid already, and, um, you know, you're looking to settle down, doesn't really matter the age, but I do feel like someone wants a serious commitment with you, and they're thinking about family, they're thinking about sharing a home, and having commitment, and having something, you know, that is uh, authentic and real. So that could be exciting, especially if you're looking for that, okay? Now, I feel like the problem that this individual is having is not being able to make a move, not being able to take a chance, not being able to do anything. I feel like they're feeling limited, they're feeling like, they can't really get their message across or perhaps, you know, you're not going to be receptive to it. There is this um, bit of a hesitation to do something, right? So I am picking up from the energy that this person wants to go above and beyond what they're usually doing. They could be, you know, someone that is even a friend or someone that's trying to get close to you during this period of time. And you could be wondering, like, you know, is this person really into you? You know, what are their intentions? What are their motives? We know so far that they do have some sincere and genuine intentions, okay? So let's see. The next card is showing to me disappointment. It feels as if this person might have tried to get in a relationship with you at one point. They might have tried to, you know, um, find a way to hook up with you before, but maybe they failed, or perhaps the two of you dated, it didn't work out. Maybe they felt as if you uh, were not receptive to their offer or that you weren't interested in their offer. There is that indication that is coming out from the cards. So I do feel like they might have felt disgruntled in the past that things didn't work out between the two of you. This could also be representing your energy. Maybe you've been jilted in love and, uh, you know, you may have given up hope and you might be thinking to yourself, well... It's kind of pointless. What's, you know, what's it going to lead to? Is there even going to be a chance? So I do feel like in respect 
of this individual's energy. Some of you could be doubtful or perhaps even wary of, of what they have to offer you or whether or not um, they're serious and genuine, right? Wow, look at the card that is in the future position. This is love. I feel like if you've met somebody new and, you know, you've been disappointed in the past or perhaps you've dated them in the past and it didn't really work out, I'm picking up the energy of it leading to something serious. So this could be leading towards two of cups. And if you're looking for that sort of uh, genuine connection with an individual, someone that's serious and authentic and that's not going to be playing games with you, then it's very likely that, uh, you know, you may have stumbled upon your soulmate or, you know, someone from the past could be coming back after they've realized what uh, really happened or perhaps that they made a mistake. Because I do pick up a slight energy of someone feeling disappointed about something that happened in the past, okay? And now this individual is feeling as if their hands are a little bit tied and they want to do more for you. And uh, what I'm picking up is that uh, they don't know how to, okay? Usually this individual is very resourceful. You know, they have a hands-on approach to things and to life. And um, I feel like under these circumstances, you know, they feel rather restricted, rather limited. So the next card, yeah, as I've been mentioning, frustration. This individual has been feeling a sense of frustration. And this could be stemming from the fact that they may have wanted to be in a relationship with you for some time and uh, you know they might have been waiting to either have an opportunity to be in a relationship or to get things going in terms of a relationship so i do sense from the cards that this person wants to try to um you know change the status quo in terms of the relationship try to get things going in that uh, sense of the word so i feel like this individual you're dealing with they want to get things moving but they don't know how to okay now the next energy is showing to me a desire to want to take care of you. I feel like this individual could be a very generous soul, someone who likes to spoil people that they care about, someone that likes to, you know, go above and beyond what is required of them. And I do feel like there's this exciting energy of them wanting to either spoil you for Christmas or take you somewhere romantic for the holidays, you know. So if they make a suggestion like for the two of you to go somewhere together just to get to know each other, it could be very exciting, especially if you feel comfortable with this person and you trust them and you know that they're authentic and maybe one or two of your friends have met them and uh, know that they are legit then, you know, it could be an exciting opportunity to bond or to make the connection stronger if you are looking for that sort of thing again. Now, the next card is showing to me that they have a genuine interest in wanting to, you know, have a connection with you that is going to be strong and solid, but at the same time compatible. Compatibility is something very important for them. They want to know if the two of you can work uh, together in a relationship because it's very easy to have sparks, chemistry, sexual attraction, love in itself is, uh, you know, a major component. But can the two of you handle each other in a day-to-day -day setting? I feel like that's going to be the test in the month of December, you know, they're going to be trying to figure out if the two of you can actually work as a couple, you know. Do the two of you get along? Do the two of you have, you know, some of the same viewpoints? Or do the two of you clash on certain things? What are some of the difficulties that are standing out? So when it comes to a relationship, I do pick up on the cards that this person is looking for something that is genuine and authentic. There is, you know, a possibility that this could be new love for some of you. This could be an old, um, you know, past love coming back in. But there is that indication that someone is looking for their Ten of Cups here. And finally, I see this individual, if they're struggling to make a decision, they're going to be making a big decision. And I feel like that decision is going to sort of be forced onto them. If they've been wandering and going back and forth, should they, should they not? I feel like they're going to have no choice in deciding to make a move or to do something. It's like they're going to be pushed against the corner. So there's a possibility that this individual will have to act, you know, under circumstances in which they feel compelled to. So I'm guessing that uh, they might feel threatened by something or fearful that, uh, you know, you might move on or that you might lose interest. There is that energy coming across from the cards, okay? So I feel like someone's going to be forced to make a decision and it's going to be on the spur of the moment. 
I hope you guys enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetaroempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.